안녕하세요, 여러분. Hello, everyone. This is Expression Expansion class. Through this class, we will learn some useful expression that you might use or you might hear in a certain situation. And every class has different topic, which means if you study hard this time, I'm sure that your Korean speaking ability will improve. And our first topic is greeting. And greeting is the first thing that you do when you meet someone. So, it's important to know the proper way of greeting because if you do, then everybody that you will meet in a real life will have a good impression on you. Right? And let's move on to our first sentence, which is 시우씨 안녕하세요? 시우씨 안녕하세요? Obviously, she is the name of someone, and she is like the title. It can be Mr., it can be Mrs., and it can be Miss. So you can actually put put C at the end of the name, like for everybody except the like very young children. It's not very natural to put C at the C at the end of young children's name. So except them, you can put C at the end of someone's name, and it's a very formal way of calling people. So, 시우씨 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. You should know this expression, which means hello. Hello. So, 시우씨 안녕하세요 means hello, 시우. And there is another way that you can say hello, which is 안녕하셨어요. 안녕하셨어요. Again, this is a very formal expression too. So, if you want to say hello to someone, you should say 안녕하세요 or 안녕하셨어요. And last practice, 시우씨 안녕하세요. Hello, Xiu. And your response should be, 네, 지민 씨. Oh, hi, 지민. 안녕하셨어요? Hello. 네, 지민 씨. 안녕하셨어요? Oh, hello, 지민. Something like this. So it was very easy conversation. And let's move on to the next sentence, which is, 요즘 잘 지내세요? 요즘 잘 지내세요? So, 요즘 is the adverb, which means these days, nowadays. 잘 지내세요 means how are you? How are you doing these days? So, 요즘 잘 지내세요 means how are you doing these days? And there's also another way that you can say, uh, you can say how are you, which is 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? So, if you want to say how are you do, uh, how are you doing these days or how have you been doing, you should say 요즘 잘 지내세요? Or, 요즘 어떻게 지내세요? As I told you, 요즘 is the adverb, so you can always omit that word. 잘 지내세요? Or 어떻게 지내세요? So, let's practice. 요즘 어떻게 지내세요? 요즘 어떻게 지내세요? B is saying, 요즘 회사일로 무척 바빴어요. So, 회사 means company or work, and 일 means work. So, I have been really busy working. 회사 일로 무척 바빴어요. The adjective 바쁘다 means to be busy. So if you say 회사 일로 무척 바빴어요 means I have been really busy working. So if you want to say I have been busy doing something, you should say blank으로 바빴어요. So if you want to say I have been busy doing homework, you should say 숙제로 무척 바빴어요. Or if you want to say I have been busy studying, you should say 공부로 무척 바빴어요. And 현정 씨는요? 현정 씨는요? Is what about you, 현정? What about you, 현정? So 요즘 어떻게 지내세요? How have you been doing these days? 요즘 회사 일로 무척 바빴어요. I have been really busy working. What about you, 현정? 현정 씨는요? And next sentence is 정말 고맙습니다. 정말 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. You should know this expression too. This is thank you. 고맙습니다. Thank you. 정말 means a lot or very much. So 정말 고맙습니다 is thank you very much. And there are two other ways that you can say thank you, which is 감사합니다 or 고마워요. So there are actually three ways that you can say thank you. 고맙습니다, 감사합니다, or 고마워요. And if you want to say thank you for doing something, you should put 뭐뭐 해주셔서, blank 해주셔서, 감사합니다. That means thank you for doing something. 
So if you look at the sentence, it says, 도와주셔서 정말 고맙습니다. And the verb 도와주다 or 돕다 means to help. So 도와주셔서 정말 고맙습니다 means thank you for helping me. And me is saying, 별 말씀을요. 별 말씀을요. That means, that is, that's the way of, that's the very proper response for thank you. So if, if somebody say thank you to you, you should say, 별 말씀을요. 별 말씀을요. That means, oh, that's okay. Oh, not at all. That's my pleasure. 별 말씀을요. Means, oh, that's okay. That's my pleasure. 힘들 때 서로 도와야죠. 힘들 때 서로 도와야죠. So actually the ad adjective 힘들다 means to be tired, but it does not necessarily mean you're tired physically. It can be you're tired mentally or you're having a hard time financially or it can be anything. So if someone say 힘들 때 서로 도와야죠, 서로 돕다 means to help each other. So 힘들 때 서로 도와야죠 means we should help each other when we are having a hard time. So, 별 말씀을요. Oh, that's okay. Not at all. 힘들 때 서로 도와야죠. We should help each other when we're having a hard time. And let's move on to the next one. 태희 씨, 정말 미안해요. 미안해요. I'm sure that you know this expression, which means I'm sorry. So, 태희 씨, 정말 미안해요. Means I'm really sorry, 태희. And there's also another way that you can say sorry, which is 죄송해요. 죄송해요. And if we want to put, if we want to add the reason why you are sorry, you should say, 뭐뭐 해서 미안해요 or 죄송해요. So if you look at the sentence, 태희 씨, 집들이에 못 가서 미안해요. 태희 씨, 태희, 집들이에 못 가서. 집들이 is the housewarming party. So 집들이에 못 가서 means I couldn't go to your housewarming party. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I could not go to your housewarming party. And B is saying, 괜찮아요. And 괜찮아요 is a proper response for sorry. So if someone says sorry to you, you should say, 괜찮아요. Oh, that's your light. That's okay. 바쁘신데 어쩔 수 없죠. 어쩔 수 없죠 means what you could, what could you do? What could you do? You are busy. So, it's a very polite way of saying that's okay. 바쁘신데 어쩔 수 없어. You are busy. What could you do? That's okay. Don't worry. And let's move on to our last, sen uh, last sentence, which is 먼저 가볼게요. 먼저 가볼게요. So, 먼저 is the adverb, which means first. So, 먼저 가볼게요 means I will leave now. I will leave first. So, it means I am leaving now. So you are in a like you are in the situation where a lot of people are gathered together, and then you want to bounce first. You should say, 먼저 가볼게요, or 먼저 일어날게요. Actually, the verb 일어나다 means to stand up, but if you say 일어날게요 in those situations, that means I will leave now. I will leave first. So let's practice. 저는 약속이 있어서 먼저 가볼게요. 저는 약속이 있어서 먼저 가볼게요. That means, uh, 약속 means appointment, an appointment or a plan. So, 저는 약속이 있어서 I have a plan, so I will leave now. I have an appointment, so I'm leaving now. And P is saying, 네, 그러세요. Oh, well, yeah, okay. 다음에 봐요. See you next time. 다음에 봐요. See you next time. So, so far today, we've looked at the expression that we can use to greet someone. There was a thank you, there was sorry, and there was a hi, hello, and how are you? So, as I told you at the beginning of the class, it's very important to know the proper way of greeting because you can good first impression, you can give good first impression to the people that you will meet. So, please practice them. And that was all for today. And I will see you next time. Thank you.